Uh, let me tell you, I am so ready for this fight this weekend. I'm not going to be able to watch it live because I'll be at a wedding, but the Habib Connor fight is just going to be amazing. Personally, I think that. And that's why I think he's going to win personally, but that's not what this video is about. I could go on and on talking about that all day, but that's not the focus of this video. Today, we're going to be talking about working full time alongside your computer science degree. And in all honesty, if you're not pursuing a computer science degree, this can be applied to any college, just working full time while going to school full time. And as y'all know, I like to talk about my personal experience. So let's talk about the backstory of how I worked full time while I pursued my computer science degree. It all started when I graduated high school. I wasn't even planning on going to college. In all honesty, I had a job essentially lined up. I just needed to wait for a particular opening because you know they can't just hire me if there's not a spot open. But in the meantime, I got this in-between job, whereas that company got acquired by a bigger company. There's a whole lot of semantics there that we're not gonna go into, but I got promoted to this title of technical sales specialist which allowed me to travel all around the eastern seaboard selling this industrial equipment there were a lot of lessons learned in that job and I'm forever grateful for that opportunity that was given to me however I decided somewhere along the road that I really wanted to go to college so what I did is enrolled in online classes at the local community college I had a full-time course load Meanwhile, I was traveling and, and working this full-time job. I was doing this for about a year and a half until I finally started taking computer science courses over at ODU. I started off online there because I was still working, and then I finally transferred over and had just a blanket full-time student-only semester over at ODU. And although I mentioned being a full-time student and a full-time worker, I'm not going to really compare those because I was just doing general study classes. However, for almost half of my computer science career within ODU, I worked a full-time job. And after I discuss my experiences working alongside school, we're gonna compare the few because I've experienced quite a few different scenarios with well, we'll get into it. My very first job during ODU was my NASA internship. When I was full-time at NASA, it was the summer and I took two either six or 12 week accelerated courses. As you know, normal courses are generally 16 weeks. So it really means that you have to focus in if you're taking one of these six, eight or 12 week courses. My NASA schedule was kind of lenient, sort of like eight to four, so typical hours. And then I also had to drive through the HRBT to NASA and home from NASA. So that was like 45 minutes each way for the commute which you know that equates to an hour and 30 minutes so if we tally that up I'm at work for about eight hours I'm in the car for about an hour and a half and then when I come home I have to work on all of my schoolwork in those accelerated courses obviously it's not the whole entire summer since it's only six or twelve weeks but it was still a lot of work to get done in that short period of time and in all honesty I didn't really find it that difficult the main reason for this was because when I worked at that NASA internship they had a particular set of jobs for me to complete over the three month internship and after the first week I was on track to complete that not in three months but in three weeks so they essentially pulled me aside and said slow down their their lingo their motto was essentially don't work yourself out of a job <laughs> and I didn't want to work myself out of this internship so that's what I did is I slowed down but I don't like to work slow so what I did was I worked in sprints and no not like those typical agile development sprints that everyone knows and loves I worked in like literal sprints where I would work 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 and then I would take it easy and then I'll work, 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 and then I'll take it easy because like I said, I don't want to just do everything slow, whatever it may be. A lot of the work I was working on servers and whatnot, so I didn't want to just work real slow. I wanted to get the work done, maybe work on one, and then get that done and then sit back and do whatever I wanted. So what I could do was do my schoolwork, and that, was, that just made things so much easier because instead of working a whole entire eight hours and then an hour and a half for the commute and then work on all my schoolwork at home, I could just do it in between those sprints and I could essentially have all or most of my homework done by the time I get home. And to be honest with you, I had so much free time, that's when I actually started my YouTube channel. That was in the summer of 2016. So now let's fast forward to the end of summer where I said farewell to my team and I hopped directly into my fall classes as well as my fall co-op co -op at Norfolk Southern. However, this time around, I had five 16-week courses and although they aren't accelerated courses, they're more stretched out, it was a much heavier course load and what I found out by the end of the semester, much harder classes than I took the previous summer. When I was at Norfolk Southern, I worked from eight to five and 
it was generally a 30 minute commute each way, so that's an hour. And all of my classes, except for one, were online, where that exception was a night class. And unlike at NASA, I had to work every single minute while I was at Norfolk Southern, which I like because I don't like to be bored at work, but this also meant less time during my work hours for my schoolwork. And to make a long story short, I'm just gonna read essentially what my daily schedule was. I would wake up at seven, get ready for work, leave by 7.30, get to work by eight, work until five, get home around 5.40 because traffic in the afternoons were worse, some days go to the gym, then work on schoolwork and YouTube afterwards until one to two a.m., sleep for five to six hours and do it all again the next day. It completely drained me. I had barely any free time. On the weekends, I had a little bit more, but I still had to be conscious of all my schoolwork. And if you go back to the videos I made during the fall of 2016, you can see just how tired I was, like in my face, how I looked and how I spoke. That was due to that schedule. Now let's fast forward to the spring semester. I was still in school, but I decided to not work anything and just focus on schoolwork and focus a bit on YouTube. And during that semester, Norfolk Southern actually invited me back. That's how a lot of these co-ops run, where you'll go work for them for one semester, go to school for one semester, work for them for one semester, so on and so forth. And this time around, I wasn't going to make the same mistake as a fall semester and thinking I can handle full-time work and full-time school on really difficult courses because I know just how difficult these courses will be. So basically what I did is I took the two previous work experiences and mashed them together. So at NASA, I had two accelerated courses online and at Norfolk Southern, I knew I wasn't going to be able to do any of my schoolwork during the actual work day. So I worked eight to five and then after work, I worked on YouTube and I worked on those two accelerated courses when they were in session. And although this wasn't as easy, easy as the NASA semester, it was much easier than the first Norfolk Southern semester. And it made for a decent balance for how much work had to be done. And I only tell you all these stories because I want to show you that I've experienced all different types of working full time while going to school. Which brings me to my question for you, and that is, does this sound like something that you can or want to handle? I mean, I gave you three different semesters. One was a breeze, the other took over my whole entire life, and then the last was like, it was, it was a fine balance for what it was. My personal conclusion is if I needed to work full-time and be a full-time student, I would take the minimum amount of courses, which is generally 12 credits, which that'll equate generally to four courses. I would do my best to make sure all four of those courses aren't the most difficult courses I've ever had. I would try to have at least one or two easier courses in the mix. And then I would hope for a job that gives you a little bit of leeway so you may be able to work on your schoolwork during the actual job. A lot of jobs actually say, yeah, we know you're a student, so go ahead and work on it. My conclusion for you is undetermined because I, you know your situation, schedule, and discipline much more than me. So you should do your best to be realistically self-aware and determine what you can and can't handle. Maybe you don't know what you can handle. Sometimes you need to risk it to see where your threshold is between, you know, having a well-balanced semester and to having a semester that has absolutely taken over your life. And a lot of times the result of that will be one of two things, if not both, poor work experience. In other words, you're not doing your work to the best of your ability, which doesn't give a, a good taste in the company's mouth because you seem to be slacking, but in reality, you're just exhausted or failing your classes. And although those two don't sound like ideal situations at all, just know that from negative experiences, you're able to learn. So if you do have to risk it and maybe you fail one class here or, or something, of course, that's not ideal at least you will learn from it, grow from it, and then you'll know better for the future. Good luck on your future endeavors. I hope you found something valuable out of this video. Until next time, guys, have a good one. Peace.